Okay, Greg. Welcome back to East End Park. How Thank does you. Um, how does that feel? Someone saying that to you. It's great to be back. You know, and um, the 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 surprise of you know waking up last Wednesday and you know obviously a couple of hours later, um, the phone call from from Ross was you know a bit of a surprise. Um, I think I touched base with Ross last June, um, with Potts leaving to go to Sunderland was, you know, I thought then maybe it was an in. Um, with Stevie being here, Ross made it clear that Stevie was involved and, you know, it was um, it was going to be permanent. Um, which was, you know, I accepted, moved on and thought nothing of it. Um, obviously, with all the former clubs I've played for, I'll look at the results and Dunfermline being a club that I've played for the majority of my playing career. You know, I was always looking of what was going on. Um I actually watched the, the game against Falkirk on, on the third. Um I enjoyed it. So, you know, to get that phone call was you know, it, it was more or less I was I was I was wanting to do it um, straight away and I had to get a few fin things fi finalised within our youth programme. The first team programme was slightly different because it starts back on the, the first of February. Um so the youth side was, you know, very much they were in full support of of everything, um, they saw it as a as an opportunity. And to, to Stevie's point earlier, these opportunities don't come often, um, and you know it, it was it was important for the family as well. You know, and um, they're still out there. You know, my son will probably be back in the next ten days, and my wife and, and two girls, they'll be back probably within six weeks. So you know, it's trying to get them back out. I've got a lot of ties and commitments, as you know. I came over here with two suitcases, and you know, done it. Um, but it was a quick, it was a whirlwind, you know, turnaround. It was, you know, any of my, my, my employees and asking them to leave and, you know, they were very, very surprised. And then I was flying out of Raleigh at, at four o'clock, you know, and flying out of New York at eight o'clock. So it was really, it was bizarre, you know, and, and, and usually, you know, with the flights, it was more, I was looking at Dunfermline, how they played and, you know, the last number of games and the player I was coming into. Um, and the opponent as well from Saturday. So there was a lot going on. Um, so I mean, the flight was late, strolled in at 9.30 um, with my bags <laughs> and uh, was straight in a meeting to meet the players. You know, it was that quick. So, you know, it was just a quick, quick turnaround. And, you know, I was exhausted at the end of it, but, you know, it was by far the right choice. And, you know, certainly one, one thing I'm excited about and certainly my family are as well. So it's, it's great, great to be back. It's nine years that you've uh, been away, eight, nine years you've been in the States. And I heard you speaking a little bit earlier on, and you were saying that the, the Grey Shields that went away is completely different to the one that's, that's sat in front of me just now in terms of his coaching credentials. Yeah, I mean, I went out there to, to end my career playing. You know, I had my UFB licence, you know, and um, I was I was interested in coaching. And, um, you know, I have went away and I've, I, I, I got, came back, got my UFIA. I did the US licenses, you know, so I have a USA license as well, which was fairly difficult. Um, but the, the the game is so different over there, you know, and the game's evolved since, you know, nine, nine, ten years ago that, you know, I see myself as, you know, a far better person, far better coach. Um, and the biggest thing for me is a listener. You've got to be a listener. Uh, I've still got a little twang there, isn't I? You've got to be a listener. You know, and uh, f that, that's the most important piece. The players have to understand, you know, what you're thinking, what you're trying to get across, how they can deliver it. Um, and, you know, the, the players want to know that. They, they, they want to get better. Um, but some need a nudge, some need a push, and, you know, some need a cuddle. It's um, part of the game, and, you know, but certainly the listening piece is the most important part as a coach. You know, I'm not always right. I make mistakes all the time. So will they, and it's easy to jump on somebody when they make mistakes. So, you know that piece I've got way better at. You've only worked with the squad for two or three days now. Um, what's your initial first impressions? Um, well, Thursday was was hard because I was coming in and you know I was I was going up to Kelty and, and Stevie took the session and it was, you know, it was very very it was, it was so fast that the you know it was just getting to know, shaking hands and you know speaking to them. Um, Friday was slightly different because I, I, I came and took the session. We had we had a lot of fun, um, and it was just really, 
you know, getting them to feel relaxed. You know, when a new person comes in, I know what it's like previously a number of times. It's it's tough for them, you know, the emotional side of it and the mental piece is, is hard. Um, but this group have been very, very good. You know, they've they've been open to, to to myself, you know, giving them videos and, you know, looking at what, what I have. Um, so it's been easy, it's been an easy, easy transition. You know, it's, I, I think it's maybe because it's done filming as well and I'm coming back to somewhere I know. If it's not, it's a lot of the staff are people I know as well. So, you know, you've got Mohat and you've got Craig, you've got Christine, you've got, you know, Kevin and Willie, a big, big party done filming. You see, so it makes you happy coming in here because you know these people. And that, that's the thing I think the boys, I want him. I'm a happy guy. You know, I, I'm, it's something I want to keep on going. You know, it's, you know, you always walk by somebody in the corridor, you always communicate, you always talk because it's important. And that comes down to culture. So, you know, it was, it was fairly, fairly simple. And you're also, as, as well as the people you just mentioned there who are in around the club behind the scenes, uh, you're working with someone that you know very, very well, and Stevie Crawford, and then obviously Jackie McNamara as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, we, we've, I've known Stevie and known Jackie for a number of years, played with and against them, you know, and, and their vision, their experiences is, you know, is, is certainly, you know, very similar. To mine, and our job is to, you know, certainly mine, Stevie's job is to certainly, you know, give that back to the players, you know. Um, but in terms of the game on Saturday against the United that we can touch on, um, the players you mentioned are learning about you, learning about your methods. What did you learn about the players up close on Saturday? I just think that they were very receptive to the the information I was providing to them, um, which was really, really good. Um, you know, new person come in and go over the tactic board and show them a few things and what's going on. You know, so it was really good for the players to understand what I was trying to, to get. And you know, the, the, the piece of, you know, how high they pressed up the field, I thought it was pretty good at times. You know, and that's only sitting down and talking to them. You know, is that going to happen every week? Probably not. You know, there's, there's certain games are different. But just, just they were so open to learning. Um, and there was a lot of good performances at the weekend. You know, I don't think any of them had a poor performance. And um, that's the piece, you know, that's it's, it's a building thing. You're not going to win every single game, but I get it now. It's winning's a part of the job. I, I fully understand that. But, you know, I look at it a lot different as well. That it's, um, you know, it's, I'm not going to mention names, but, you know, a lot of players' names were on the tip of my tongue leaving Dan and on Saturday, for sure. One of the reasons, I guess, when you come back is the thick and fast nature that the game's come along so it was done United after only a couple of days here on Saturday and we've got a nice tasty Fife <laughs> Derby to look forward to on Saturday which should be good. Yeah I mean you're you're right into the frying pan right you know you're in Tannadice one of the, the toughest teams to go to and then you've got a, a local derby that's you know there's going to be a lot of fans there um, but that's it's, it's a good thing you know it's it's part of the job and you know you, you, you want to play in these games and then um, I'm sure the players will, but we'll have them prepared and, you know, I know it's a new surface along there, it's AstroTurf and that'll be new to me, um, but, you know, I'm happy about it, you know, and, and as I say, we, we have a long week to prepare for it. And finally, I know you're still getting your feet under the table as it were, but what is, what is the goal now, between now and the end of the season, both in terms of where we are in the league and what you want to do with the squad? The aim is the playoffs, you know. Um, that's the aim, been the aim since the start, and you know, um, sitting seventh place, we're six place off, six points off fourth place. It's always a goal um, to get fourth to, to to whatever, you know, and um, just to win as many games as we possibly can. You know, you, winning, you 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 got to win. That's mentality as well. It comes, you know, sometimes losing goals a habit, drawing games a habit, and, and, and losing games a habit. So it's that mindset and that mentality that, that has to change for the group. And it's, as I said, it's a tough league. There's going to be mistakes, but it's, it's nullifying the, the the ones at important times. Um, but you know the, the aim is the playoffs, and you know um, from my point of view, it's you know trying to get the players to fully understand every single thing I'm throwing at them. I don't want them walking off the training pitch and saying, well, "What on earth was Greg talking about?" I have no clue. That's the question asked. Do you fully understand what I did? Yes. Okay. Therefore, there's no questions when we go away. You know, and um, I've asked them to be open, asked them to be honest, and there's, there's a trust piece that comes with it. You know, that's what I think I'm good at. 
and that's why I think he'll do better. But it's the players fully, you know, taking advantage of me um, and getting the best out of me and me getting the best out of them.